it's Uncle Laurie here, back with another shave. Well, it's Tuesday the 4th of July today, so this is a uh, commemorative shave for my American friends. And I'm going to use mostly American products. Now, the only non-American product is the shaving brush. But it's an Australian brush, so we're closely linked to America, so <laughs> that's close enough. <laughs> it's a lovely brush, this is made by Billy Goat, and I, I believe some of my American shaving friends have a few of these brushes. It's a lovely brush handle called the Monolith, and in there I've got a, uh, what's it called, Snow Leopard Knot from Yaki. So I'll just stick that in my super soaker to get wet. It doesn't need to soak, of course. It just needs to get wet. And the soap we're going with is from Soap Commander. Probably the, the originator of vegan soaps, or at least the modern. I haven't used it, as you can see, that's the pore. It's quite a firm, firm soap. I can't push my finger, finger in. It's, so. And these are six ounce tubs. This is a huge amount of soap. That'll probably last my lifetime. Um, the razor is American from the razor company, which is made in uh, partnership with um, Simple Clean Shave, I believe. I think it's what they call the SCS Model A. It's an aluminium razor with stainless steel posts. And in there, we're going to put a Persona Platinum Chrome or Chrome Platinum. I think they're made in America. If not, it's an American company. It's hard to say where each of the Persona blades are made. Um, what else are we using? We're using the fine accoutrements lathering bowl. It's not quite red, white and blue, but it's blue and white. And uh, that's, uh, that's it. We'll do the pre-shave, which is another American product. It's a vesicle with a Spanish name. I think it's Spanish. Uh, we're using that as our pre-shave. Let's wet the face. I suppose you say Happy Independence Day. Is that the correct thing to say? I suppose it is. Independence for Australia didn't happen. Well, we're not completely independent of England. We're still part of the Commonwealth. And that happened on the 1st of January 1901. We became an independent governed body. All right. So we'll go over there and produce the leather. I've got uh, the half a level teaspoon measure, so it's flattened off the top in there. That's that's about two and a half, two point eight grams if you're measuring by weight. And as you can see, I've got it squashed around. It's a lot of soap there. 
So, we'll just get my brush. Give it a squeeze and a shake or two. And we'll get started. Just generate our pasty leather like we normally do. Now the scene coming off, this is a lime. Now I smell a bit of wood. It's actually made of lime and patchouli. And patchouli is a complex scent of many things. Wood and musk and greenness and earth. So mixing lime with it makes it nice and fresh. Okay, we'll start adding a bit of water now. This is a 26 millimeter knot in this brush. Set quite high. Set to 56 mil. 56 mil loft. You can see it's making a lovely leather. Might even be a bit of soap left over, I think. Three mil. medium density leather generated. Okay, we'll use that. That looks pretty good. Probably a little bit less water than I normally use, but it's hard to control the leather build at the moment. And actually, I'll put a little bit more in. Make it 17. Yeah, it's hard getting that last bit of water in. Okay, that's what we use, beautiful. All right, we'll go back to the other. Look at that, beautiful. Nice and shiny, I don't know whether you can see the shine, but it is lovely and shiny. Perhaps a touch less water than I would normally use, only because I couldn't control it anymore. So I just re wet the face. And before we get started, I'll just um, leave the ingredient list and the scent description here. You'll notice that the ingredient list is not very big. It has a lot of shea butter in it. Oh, 
It's a wonderful scent. I'm going to call this a 5 out of 10 scent strength. Got a good solid scent strength out of this one. And I get the lime, but it's not a strong lime scent. And patchouli, which is that woody, earthy, greeny scent with a bit of spice and herbaceousness. It's quite a unique scent, patchouli. Oh, unique and complex. Look at that leather. Great coverage. To get the razor. Oh, gee, I haven't put the blade in there yet. Hang on. My fingers are all wet and slippery, so I'll put a bit of alum on there so we don't cut ourselves putting the blade in. You see, there's a stainless steel post in the top and two in the bottom. They go all the way through the plate. So I'll just get the persona blade out. It doesn't appear to be any wax or glue on it. I've lost my washer. It doesn't matter. Use it without the washer. It's supposed to be better without the washer anyway. Screw it down. It's the alignment. Looks pretty good. We'll go over that. Very nice. It's supposed to have negative blade uh, exposure, but I do feel a bit of blade. Just checking the alignment. Now, Soap Commander has been around for a very long time. I think about 2012, 13, around there. I'm not quite sure their starting date. But they're virtually the um, the original vegan soap maker. And actually wrote the book on it. The book called How to Make Shaving Soap by Carrie uh, Serbert, I think her last name. The owner of Soap Commander. So if you're thinking about making your own soap, that's a good place to start with that book. It's not very expensive, I think it's just $10. Oh, wonderful. Wonderful scent. I really like this. Oh, hands are slippery again. Yeah. 
this polar Maltese, is it polar? No, it's not polar, uh, snow leopard. It's quite soft. Similar to a cashmere. Okay, across the grain. Well, it's certainly knocking down. This persona is not this, my smoothest of blades, not on my skin. It's not one of the blades I normally collect. They do all right. It's feel. Oh, it's not a lot of residual, so commander, but. It doesn't bother me. Yeah, it's all right once you moisten it up a bit. Like I said, not a lot, but I've got heaps of lather, so that's not important for me. It's certainly very slick so far. And you can't complain about the leather, look at that. <laughs> okay, against the grain. Do a little bit in the camera so you can hear the, the feedback. There's a decent feedback on this. On this razor. Very nice. It's quite a lot. I think it's about 45 grams uh, overall weight. And uh, they do make a stainless steel version of this, uh, but I don't think it's available at the moment. For me, I'm happy with the aluminium version because I like it nice and light.
you can see I'm get, just using the residual now. Like I said, there's there's some there, but not not a great amount. Right, just a few touch-ups on the just around the under the nose here and also under the jawline, chin a little bit, the rest is pretty good. So under the jawline, chin. Also paint the whole lot. Okay, jawline. It's not much point riding a cap because of the flat top. Very nice. I've got a few weepers there. Around the mouth. I feel I was getting pretty close. That feels lovely. That was a two days growth. I don't think I said earlier on. A uh, couple of weepers. I haven't nicked that bump and it stays there, it's probably there forever I reckon. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'll just rinse off. Enjoy the scent. Back down. Whip my arm, give it a test. Oh, pretty good. Nothing around the bottom of the neck. Chin's good. Despite a couple of weepers, I don't feel anything. Just a couple of tingles. Oh, lovely shave. Just a couple of tingles around the bottom neck, but nothing dramatic. All right, let's rinse off the alum.
what you do get from this soap is excellent um, after shave feel because of all the she butter in it. So we're gonna apply that to my face, go and have a shower and come back to the post shave. Oh that's wonderful. Oh the scent, beautiful. Awesome. Feels good. That's near BBS. Closest I need for BBS. Yeah, beautiful. Wonderful. No irritation showing up. Just that bump, which has been there for nearly a month now. Okay, we'll get into the uh, TN Dickinson's Witch Hazel which is American as well. I've got a bit of menthol crystals and tea tree oil in it. There's a bit of an antiseptic. Astringent type thing. Ah, it's wonderful. Then we're going with the Lucky Tiger Vanish Cream. Lucky Tiger is another American brand. Oh, this one. <laughs> Very nice. Spurs around, I've got plenty of it. On the elbows. It's the middle of winter here, so get dry from the heat of that. Ah, wonderful. And the final ingredient is our. I'll just wipe the label. Pinard. Club and Pinard. Wonderful old classic scent. Some love it, some hate it. But I love it. It's something I would imagine my dad or grandfather wearing. You gotta remember I'm 71. I will be soon. Wonderful. Okay, that's my show for today and um, happy Independence Day to all of my Americans and uh, have a wonderful day. Cheers.